culture of the St. John's River is in this building and in Tallahassee. The Georgia Pacific pipeline would be the greatest threat to this river's health that we've seen. We have every reason to believe that the Florida Department of Environmental Protection is moving forward to issue a permit despite the fact there are, out, there are many, many questions that remain unanswered. After 16 years, the department has dealt with this issue and they still can't answer the simplest question, such as, what about dioxin? In 2008, there was a sampling of the mill's wastewater. That sampling conducted by the DEP showed dioxin, one of the most toxic carcinogens known to humans, is being discharged by Georgia Pacific. Nothing has been done about that. They still continue to discharge as we stay here today. They have a problem with something called chronic toxicity. I can explain that to you very simply. When aquatic life is exposed to Georgia Pacific's waste stream, it dies. So what is their solution? Well, let's build a four-mile pipeline and take that pollution that toxic pollution from Rice Creek to the heart of the St. John's River. We oppose that. I'm assuming you're here because you oppose that. Who here? 